making films, you know, there's no positive answer to the grim reality of life. No matter how much the philosophers talk to you or the priests or the psychiatrists or you know the bottom line after all the talk is life has its own agenda and it runs right over you while you're prattling and so you, we're all going to wind up in a very bad position one day sooner or later the same position but a bad one and the only way out of it the only thing you can think of as an artist is to try and come up with something that will where, where you can explain to people why life is worth living and is a positive thing and does have some meaning now you can't really do that without conning them without you know you can't be honest and do that because in the end it has no meaning you're living in a random universe and you're, li you're living a meaningless life. And again, everything you create in your life or do is going to vanish. And the earth will vanish and the sun is burning out and the universe is, will be gone. And it's, it's over. And everything that Shakespeare did or, you know, or Michelangelo or, you know, Beethoven, it will all be gone one day, no matter how much we cherish it. So... It's very hard to sell someone a bill of goods that there's any good to this. Therefore, my conclusion is that the only possible way you can beat it a little bit is through distraction. You can distract people. So if you turn on a baseball game or if you watch a Fred Astaire movie or if you do something that distracts you. Now... What distracts me is I'm thinking, oh, God, can I get Emma and Parker to do this scene right? You know, like it really means something in life. It doesn't. Uh, you know, it's a trivial problem. I'll solve it. If I don't solve it, so it'll be a bad movie, and I'll, but I won't die. So that's, that's what I do. I distract myself, and making movies is a wonderful distraction. These actresses come in and they're worried about their part and their character and how they're going to do it. And that's what they're thinking of. If they weren't doing that, they'd be home or sitting on a beach or something. And they'd be thinking, my God, what is life about? You know, I'm going to get old. I'm going to die. My loved ones are going to die. You know, will I get Ebola? I mean, what is going to happen to me? You know, so, so the only thing you can do in life is distract yourself so you have some moments when you're not facing reality. Because all the, all the great thinkers, uh, Freud, Nietzsche, um, uh, Eugene O'Neill, all felt that too much reality was too much to bear, which is a very grim thing to think about, that, uh, that you have to keep pushing away reality. So... That's what happens. You you don't you have to distract yourself. So I go into a movie house, and, you know, and I watch Fred Astaire dance for an hour and a half, and I'm not thinking about my my death, my the, the decaying of my body, that I will be old one day in the very distant future, <laughs> <laughs> and 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 that's it and then I come out of the movie house and I'm struck by the problems or, you know hitting the face with reality again so that's the most you can and, and movie making you know is a nice thing to keep you busy it, it's like you know, they give the inmates in an institution basket weaving or something <laughs> and, you know it's, 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 it keeps you occupied <laughs>